Gary talks. Welcome, I am Gary. Pronouns they, daddy, d a d d i e, and unk. That's me. Gary talks a space where I'm just learning to cultivate a space to talk about feelings, processing feelings, sharing tools and resources and stories about experience here on life on life on earth <laughs> in life on earth um i wanted to share an insight that i had while journaling and um something i've been contemplating uh, about forgiveness uh, forgiveness is such an ongoing process i think especially for deep wounds i think there's things that we can forgive and be like all right like because to forgive for me means to accept especially like accepting that the past can't change or that the past won't change and like coming to a sense of peace with that right and i think anytime we're thinking like i coulda i shoulda i woulda um it to me is like a not peace you're not at peace right because you're still creating what could have been but it's you the one thing that we can't do as humans from what i've seen is change the past it's like the one thing um even in movies about time travel every time you go back you won't be where you are if you change the past um what we can do is reframe the past that's the only thing like make sense of the meaning of it um look at it from a broader perspective um see it in the whole scheme of everything um but at the end of the day we have to also accept that we just can't change that what happened what ha what happened is what happened um and it is what it was and it is what it is um and it's important to hold space for that and it's hard sometimes with big things to forgive especially when it has to do with yourself i was reflecting on how i have treated my past partners and i treated i i've treated my first partner with a lot of violent language um i ref as i think about like how big i would get and how loud i could get and how how like mean i could be in looking i i came across a text the other day uh like a, it was a long time ago text from him and i was reading it and it was like of of course you just like if you didn't deserve to be with me you wouldn't be with me like stop questioning you know why we're together or something like that with a smiley face and just like reading that message and being like wow that i needed that because like there's one thing to have affirmation right which is like i love you i value you you know you are special you uh, you are you are important to me i uh i you know i in appreciate your your insights you can even say you're special to me like whatever whatever the affirmation is for folks um there's that and then there's also like trying to tell people what they deserve that's not affirmation that's like a self esteem self confidence thing which i know i had in college for sure and as i reflect on ref forgiveness the biggest thing that keeps coming to me is like i haven't forgiven myself for for the way i have been in the past um the ways i've shown up and also even for the ways i felt like like why would like how not even how dare i feel insecure but like i feel like i've never really held i i don't often hold space for how deeply insecure i was feeling and how i really because that was unhealed um just got on everybody um like I made my issue other people's issue because I couldn't deal with the fact that I had these feelings. Uh and I've been reflecting a lot on emotional regulation what it means to like really hold space for your feelings and like recognize that your feelings are valid and also like the delivery is important, right? And your feelings are not everything, Gary. My feelings are not everything. Um my feelings are so important. They're crucial to to understanding what's going on to understanding my needs and identifying my needs and where my boundaries are and like what I want and they also influence my thoughts and my act which you know influences my actions um which is why they're so important and they're also not the end all be all cuz they're so fleeting um so yeah it's been it's been interesting holding space to like really acknowledge the harm that was done um In my second relationship, I really hurt my partner with my infidelity and in in lack of integrity or acting out of integrity. Especially as a person like 
for most of my life, I've been a person of pretty, like, I think I was of high, I would say of high integrity. Like, I, I would be about my word for a very long time. Um, and it wasn't until, like, senior year of college, um, when I started choosing very differently, that I started, like, being out of integrity with my word. Actually, nah, college is when I was out of integrity with my word, let's be real, because I didn't want to be there and constantly was there so i was already not in like in wholeness with myself so uh, i've just been like holding space for all the complexity and i feel like so much of it in the past has been like oh because you know because like it's important to recognize that it's important for me to hold the real space and really understand like nobody spoke to me the way that I wanted to be spoken to as a child and really also understanding that that's not an excuse for why I speak to people or have spoken to people how I've spoken to them. Um, I think it's also like forgiving myself and understanding like I was where I was. I didn't, I, I'm feeling this now in a different way than I've ever felt, which is like, oh, like I see why that's really like not, that's fucked up. It's harmful. It's it's creates unsafety. You know it. It scares people. It makes people feel small. Things like that. Um, as I feel into that and really like, and I think the the way now it's connecting is like as I think about the ways I've spoken to people, I think about how I was spoken to as a child, and I f allow myself to feel into that and being like, oh shit, I'm creating that experience for people without the violence actually of being hit. If you can be scared of the tone of my voice or feel like the way that I felt as a kid or felt or feel small or feel like uh, like dangerous, like tense, like things you don't know what's going to happen next and I haven't even moved physically and it's just with my tone, that's a lot. Um, and I think as I really sit with my inner child and recognize how wounded they are and how abandoned they are and they feel because I have abandoned them in different stages um, and I experience I just experience a lot of things uh, yeah so I'm holding space for all of that complexity uh, like the fact that all of these things have happened that I have also hurt people and that I have also been hurt and forgiveness is like like just not this like oh yeah I forgive you and that's it like when things come up again, it's important to just acknowledge them. So I'm, I'm just really like in this acknowledgement phase of the forgiveness process for myself. And it's fitting because this week of my programming, I wanted it to be identifying and unpacking. So I wanted to just share about things that have been on my heart that I've been like noticing about myself, like calling attention to things that have happened in my childhood that I want to talk about, calling attention to behaviors I have enacted, um, calling attention to things that have happened in our history. Um, we're, I'm continuing on the theme of intergenerational healing, history, slash slavery, and gratitude. Because uh, I am like, I'm really, I'm so grateful for this trip right now where I'm sitting here Reflecting, I've been reflecting so much this today with um, my very good friend Vane, and it's just it's been really powerful to like see that people love me and know that people love me, and also I am I am complex and I have hurt people, and that doesn't mean that I don't deserve love. Um, and I think for so long, like taking accountability and accepting that I hurt somebody meant that I didn't deserve love anymore or that I was going to be punished and cast aside that it made me feel like I didn't want to take the accountability um, but it actually feels I feel so much calm and peace in my spirit just acknowledging like like I really hurt I have really hurt some people in my life And it's like, the gratitude also comes from the gratitude also comes from like, wow, these people chose to remain my friends 
and that's a beautiful thing and wow these people some of these other people chose to not remain my friend and that's a beautiful thing because they showed me a thing about boundaries as well um so i'm just yeah no no i feel like a lot of my a lot of the time i don't want to share videos because i don't have just like a, a happy ending or a complete thing to wrap up for folks it's just like this is the process now so here i am it's monday we in miami Happy day.